Hi, this is Attorney John Cannon with Cannon and Associates, and today I'm going to be speaking about the top 10 tips for doubling your personal injury settlement with a car insurance company. First and foremost, you need to establish liability. In Oklahoma, we have a fault state, which means a car accident driver that is 49% or less responsible for a car accident can only recover. What does that mean? If you are determined to be at fault for a car accident, you can't recover damages. So it's important that you do everything in your power to build the case to establish liability on the other driver or other drivers. First, you wanna make sure that you get a car accident report from law enforcement. Two, you wanna make sure that you identify witnesses and get their version of events. Three, and potentially foremost, you wanna take photographs at the scene. Almost every person has a smartphone in their pocket at all times that has a great digital camera, especially in our day and age. So take out that phone and take as many photographs as you can of your vehicle, the other vehicle, the scene as it is, and any injuries to you or other parties. It's important that you document everything that you can, not only to assist with your medical treatment, but also to build the case for establishing liability. Second, you wanna make no statements, at least initially, to either car insurance company, <clears throat> either for yourself or the other driver. Car insurance companies try and do everything that they can to minimize their damages, minimize liability. And the other driver's car insurance company will certainly seek a statement from you to try and protect themselves or protect their client from liability. It's important that you not agree to give them a statement early on. You should speak to your car insurance company, but only to the extent of identifying the car accident itself, what happened, and that you've been injured. Third, you want to make sure that you get treatment and that you have diagnosis for your injuries. Oftentimes, some of the injuries that come as a result of a car accident don't exhibit themselves for days, and it's important that you go in for treatment and evaluation as soon as possible so a medical professional can help you determine if you've been injured or not. Some injuries, especially to the lower back, don't exhibit or show any pain or signs of injury for days or weeks following. And so if you've spoken to an insurance company, told them that you have no injuries, and then you start to develop pain from those areas that were injured during the accident, they may try and minimize your claim. Also, the treatment diagnosis will help you know what's going on with your body. Being in a high velocity car accident can cause severe injury, and it's important that you seek medical professional advice to identify all the injuries that you have so that you can begin a treatment plan for your injuries, whether it's through surgery, which unfortunately is necessary in some cases, whether it's a treatment plan without surgery, either an orthopedics care, a chiropractor's care, physical therapy, other ways to try and treat and minimize your pain and try and help you seek recovery. Fourth is a follow-on for that. You need to follow the advice of your doctor. If you've been seen subsequent or after a car accident, it's important that you follow the advice of your physician. If you see an orthopedist, if you see a chiropractor, if you're receiving care from a physical therapist, it's important that you follow their advice. Not only to one, most importantly, make sure that you recover as quickly and as completely as possible, but two, to help protect or insulate your car insurance injury claim. Fifth, you need to collect all of your bills and document them. Whether it's through an electronic means that you create a shared drive or a folder on your computer that you save all of those records to, or whether you, and additionally, just keep a paper file of all the records from your treatment so that you can, one, make sure that you know the total amount of your injuries and the total extent of your damages, but also to put that together for insurance settlement purposes. Sixth, some cases are complex and determinations of liability for the car accident itself can be very complicated. However, that's a consideration that goes into every single case. So in some instances, you need to hire an expert, possibly a car accident reconstructionist expert that will take the photographs you took of your vehicle and the other vehicle, the car accident report created by the police, statements by witnesses, and create a complete picture of what led to that car accident and who, in fact, is at fault. Seven, once you've completed the collection of all your medical records, the car accident report, an expert statement if necessary in a complex case, witness statements, and photographs of the scene, that's the time that you're ready to do a demand letter. A demand letter is basically a package of all this information gathered together, and then a statement that details out itemized list of your injuries, what they are, what the amount is, and forward-looking injuries, whether you have life-altering effects from your car accident, whether you have pain and suffering that's a little bit more complicated to evaluate, or whether you have lost economic advantage if you aren't going to be able to return to your work. It's important that you build the record of these things and the steps we've discussed in one through six, 
but seven is where you first interact with the insurance company and provide them your demand. Eight, if a settlement demand letter is not sufficient for a car insurance company, then you need to threaten a lawsuit, whether it's with the assistance of a fierce advocate and a personal injury attorney, or it's on your own, which is called pro se filing, you need to be ready to threaten a lawsuit against that insurance company. If they had a vehicle, uh, if they had a client who was driving and is at fault for your accident, then if the settlement's unsuccessful, you have the right to file a lawsuit against that party within two years from the date of the accident. That's an important time frame to keep in mind. Ninth, you want to make sure that you've identified every single car insurance policy that's relevant to your case. Every single driver involved will have an insurance policy. Most of the policy holders have what's called uninsured motorist coverage. There's personal injury minimums in the state of Oklahoma, as well as property damage minimums in the state of Oklahoma. And there are means that you can seek a disclosure or a release of the information for what all those policy limits are or policy maximums from each driver. That's important information to have while you're negotiating a settlement. <clears throat> Tenth, if these means haven't been able to assist you in doubling what your otherwise personal injury settlement would have been, then you need to contact and hire a fierce advocate. Cannon Associates is dedicated to fighting for clients every single day to help them receive the maximum recovery for their injuries. We can never help you with the injury itself, but we can certainly help you in compensation for the damage and harm that you suffered. Please follow our YouTube page here if you want additional information on some of these issues, as well if you go to the notes down below, you can visit our website for more resources, information, frequently asked questions, and additional videos to these issues. Hope this has been helpful. Please let us know if you'd like to have a consult to discuss your questions about how you can double your personal injury settlement.